Hey, what's up guys? I got an iPhone 12 mini here. I'm going to show you how to transfer photos and videos directly from your iPhone 12 mini to a Windows computer or a laptop without using iTunes or anything. Okay, we're simply going to be using a cable here. Now, the first thing I want to note is right out of the um, iPhone 12 mini, your charging cable looks like this. Basically, it's a lightning port to a USB type C. Okay, now the thing is, I'm not able to use this to transfer um, photos and videos to my Windows laptop because I don't have a, a USB Type-C or basically a Thunderbolt 3 uh, connector here on my uh, on my laptop here, okay? So my only option is to use a USB-A to a Lightning port here. I'll put a link below where you can get these. They sell these like a five pack, really, really cheap, and I've been using these for like years now, okay? So first thing is you wanna go ahead and connect one end to your USB. Unless, of course, you have a Thunderbolt or Thunderbolt or a uh, USB Type-C, you can plug that in to your computer, okay? So right from here, let me go ahead and connect your iPhone, okay? Of course, this brings up uh, iTunes, which I just can't... I always have issues with these I, iTunes on a, uh, on a Windows computer. So now let me just go ahead and uh, let me sign in here, okay? Now let me go to my File Explorer here. Oops, let me go ahead and just open this up. And now we can see right here, you can see it says Apple iPhone. Okay, so double tap on that. Internal storage, double tap on that. DCIM folder, double tap on that. Now you can see I have folders here. Okay, now the thing is sometimes when you go ahead and connect this, you have to look at your phone because it, sometimes it'll ask you to trust this computer. I'm not sure why, but it didn't ask me this time. Anyway, you can see all of my... Um, my pictures and my videos here okay so if I want to go ahead and transfer them it's very simple I can just drag and drop right onto my desktop like this and I can go ahead and let go and you can see it right there what I typically do though is I'll go up to my desktop I'll right click and I'll go down to uh, new and then go to folder and then go ahead and just name the photo whatever you want and now I can go ahead I can select um, I can select whatever I want I mean, if I want to go ahead and, you know, some photos here, I can go ahead and just say I want to copy these. I can just go ahead and drag and drop this right into my new folder called iPhone. And then you can see it transferring right there. Or, of course, I mean, what I typically do is I'll just go ahead and move the whole shebang, all my um, videos and um, photos. So what I'll do is just copy all of them and then I'll go ahead and I'll drag and drop it, drop it in right there. And then I go ahead and proceed with the uh, transfer here. So if this is done, all these um, photo or uh, photos and videos will be in this uh, new folder I just made. Okay, looks like it's just about done. Okay, it's done now. Now if I go to this folder that's on my computer, on my Windows computer, open this up, now all those folders uh, or all those uh, photos and videos are here now. So pretty simple to do. Any questions or issues you guys still have, just comment below, all right? Good luck, guys.